In this video, we are going to get API data into Google Sheets. So first, let's understand what are the limitations of Google Sheets formula. Google Sheets already provide formulas such as import XML, import data, import HTML, but each formula supports specific format. For example, import XML supports XML format, import data supports CSV or TSV format, and import HTML that supports getting data available on web page in form of table or list. So this data can be accessed from any website, but uh, Google Sheets has no formula using which we can access data in JSON format. So this is what we are going to do. We are going to access data available in form of JSON API into our Google Sheets, but that is not directly possible. So we are going to create our own app script, which is going to fetch data from JSON API. So this is what we are going to implement in this video. Without wasting time, let's get started. So let's understand higher level view of what exactly we are going to do. As a JSON API, we are going to use this API, which is very popular, which is a which provides fake data, which is JSON placeholder. This API is going to provide us data in JSON format. We are going to define our own function called get users into app script. So this get users function is going to fetch data from JSON placeholder API, which will be in JSON format. We'll convert that JSON format into the format that is understood by Google Sheets. So basically, we'll convert JSON data into two dimensional tables so that it can be displayed in our Google Sheets. Now let's go to our Google Sheets and try to implement this. Here you can see our Google Sheets. The data that you see is coming from that JSON API. So let's see how we are going to write it. So we click on these extensions click on this app script it's going to open a new tab where we can write our app script so here i already written my app script when you open it by default you'll see one function which is empty first step is we have to save this project with some name and we need to authorize this script so that it can access data or it can perform the required operation we have already done this authorization in our earlier video you can find link for that video in the description. Now let's understand this function. So it's a get users function. This URL is the URL of this JSON placeholder API. Let me show you what that API provides. I copy this URL and visit that URL. You'll find that it provides different APIs. So you can see, for example, it supports say post comments albums photos and to do's out of that i have chosen this users so if i click on that you will see that we are able to get this data in json format but if we directly write this into any of this import function into google sheets it's not going to work because the format is in json and we want to display it in a tabular format as shown here so let's understand that so that's our url for api data Google Apps Script provide one fetch function, which is a function available in URL fetch app object. So to that fetch function, we provide URL, we'll get a response. From that response, we get the content text, which will be in a JSON format. And uh, once we get that JSON text, we parse that so that we, get, we can get JavaScript object, which is data. Now we know that this data contains an array of users. So we are going to apply map on that object and the map is going to convert the JSON object user into an array. So on this user object, we have different fields like we have username, name, email. So out of these fields, we are going to fetch only two fields as an example. So from that user, we are accessing this user dot name and user's email. So this map function is going to convert this data, which is in JSON format into two dimensional array. Once we get that detail in 2D array in users, we prepend this name and email as a row header. And after that, we use this JavaScript spread operator to copy all the array values from this 2D array. And once that is done, we return this two dimensional array. After that, we need to save it. And then we come back to our Google Sheet. And here we apply that formula called get users. When, once we click that, here it's going to fetch data from the API. 
So in this way, we can create our own function to fetch any API data and we can display it in our Google Sheets. So in future, we'll use this concept to fetch stock data into our Google Sheets. Thanks for watching and happy learning.